G'day everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pierre and this is Simple Home Brew. I'm doing a Guinness style stout today, an all grain brew. So if you're interested, stick around. This recipe came from Grandfather's website, the uh, recipe share website. It was it's free to use, so I tweaked it a little bit and made it my own. And uh, I'm going to have a real good go at it, so we'll get into it now, shall we? The grains we're using today is going to be three kilograms of pale malt two row. Uh, we're going to use roasted barley, that's about 300 grams, and we're also using some flaked oats, which is about 850 grams. So that's all we're using for our main fermentables. And with the hops, we're going to add East Kent Goldings, uh, which is going to be about 43, 44, 45 grams. Uh, also, we're using an Irish ale yeast. Uh, we're using a different one, but it's still Irish ale. So here are my grains. These are the ones I just explained to you. Uh, I had a bit of a split in there, so I'll just tear it open and do it there. I'll grab my spoon. She's up here. So I'll grab my spoon, grab my oats, uh, grab a spoon, grab my grains, and you should be able to see from there, hopefully. Let's pop that down on the floor. And what we have is 14.3 litres of strike water. So I'm going to pop that in now. And this is about four kilos of just grains going in. And last time I did a stout, I did six and a half kilos, which I'll tell you what, was way too much. And this is much better. So we're going to stir this until we get all our dough balls out. So I'm going to make sure there's no balls of dried grains in here. Really not having a good day today. It's looking good. It's not a lot, so it's really good for me. Right, it's in. So I will now leave that at 68 degrees Celsius for 90 minutes. Before I start the sparge, I'm going to boil my uh, quick oats for about five minutes just to get them activated. And then I'll come back to you and show you what I do with them. So what I've got now is my sparge water is at temperature, so 75 degrees Celsius, and my mash is at 75 degrees celsius within a few seconds what i'm going to do is while we're waiting i boiled up some oats so what i'm going to do now is actually take these open up this beauty here turn the pump off we don't need that running actually let that run out And take that out. Remove the lid out the way. I'm going to grab, would you believe, my little basket. First, I'll pull this up. Oh, I know. It's telling me it's at 75 degrees Celsius. I now have to do the sparge. So I'll pull out the little tray, just like this, because I want to put my grain, no, sorry, my oats on top of that grain. So I don't know if this is the right way to do it, but it is today. So I'm gonna do it carefully, because um, I probably, reading the instructions of someone else doing this, they said to boil it first, but I reckon I could have added it to my grains. No worries, it would have just done the same thing, truthfully. But anyway, 850 grams of oats going in that have been pre... pre-heated uh, for five minutes. So that should add to the mouthfeel 
of my stout, we hope. What I gather is who it's going to add to the water. So I put in a couple of litres of water as well, which I didn't expect to have to do. So it's actually going to be a bit more than I thought it would be. So we just spread that around. Just mix it in with the grains a little bit. And it's bucking down rain again. As usual, every time I do a, drew, a brew, an all grain, it rains outside. Now I'll pop my basket back on, because I've got to do a sparge. And that's going to stay on for the sparge. Pull that back out. So now that's doing a 10 minute mash out. So I'm now going to put my lid back on. Put my hose back on and let it run a little bit. So as you can no doubt tell, this is beeping away, it's ready to go, so I'll pop, pop press the set button, <laughs> quieten it down a bit. Uh, I'm about to do my sparge. Now I've heated my sparge water up to 75 degrees Celsius. The mash out was 10 minutes at 75 degrees Celsius. I'm now going to start pouring clear, clean water from my digivoil so I can actually start sparging. I'm adding another 16 litres of water at 75 degrees Celsius to sparge my grains. Eventually, that shouldn't be brown anymore once I've finished doing it whole thing. Once I'm done, I'll come back to you. So I'm, I'm done with the sparge, so I'm just gonna let it um, drain out of the grains for another 10 minutes or so before I start my boil. My next addition at 60 minutes is 45 grams of Kent Goldings has already been pre-measured. Straight into my... Got to keep my eye on it, it doesn't boil over. Sometimes it will. So far so good. Oh, look at the green come through, look at that. finished our boil, I'm now trying to cool down my water as quickly as possible to at least 25 degrees Celsius so I can put it into my firmzilla. Once I put it in my firmzilla, I can then pitch my yeast. I'll see you soon. the end of our brew. I'm about to pitch our yeast using a yeast starter that I did yesterday, something I haven't done before. And I'm going to pitch this into my new brew to see how it goes. Watch what happens. Hopefully, we'll just pour it in. And that will bring me back, bring me up to about 20 litres is what I'm after. Spot on, 20 litres. So we're right to go. Now that's all the yeast that I made, I did as a starter. So we're looking, hopefully, good. Now this is a pressure fermentation, so I'm going to put my pressure cap on, I'm going to put a pressure regulator on and pop it in the fridge at 18 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to let that brew for uh, two to three weeks, maybe four weeks, depending on how long it takes. And we'll see how the result comes in that time period. So we'll catch you when I'm tasting it. Thank you, see you soon.
not as carbonated as it was, but. All right, everybody, check that out. That's my stout. It's a little bit less uh, creamy than I was, was expecting. But that doesn't matter. The flavor, even the foam tastes good. It, it, there's no off flavors in this, I can tell. Um, it is carbonated almost perfectly. I think I might need a bit more carbonation in it. <laughs> that is beautiful. Wow. I'm so glad I do this. This is one beautiful brew. Never going to whinge about it. Can't whinge about it. It's so nice. It's so tasty. Wow. Um, it's not a, It's not like a Guinness. It's similar. A little bit of bitterness, like I thought it would be. And I can... It's a small aroma, but not, not a strong beer scent. Um, it's a really clean flavour. The mouth feel, feel from the oats. Yeah, definitely there. Probably could have used a different method of, of adding the oats. But I can tell you now, that is one beautiful little stout. And I'm going to wrap to eat this. Eat it? <laughs> uh, drink this during the winter times. Uh, it is really nice. Uh, the alcohol volume is only 3.7. But it's well worth a beer. Wow, what a nice beer. Not going to change much. I feel that I should maybe put a bit more of that Kent Goldings and maybe change the um, times. Maybe do a, a last edition or a, 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 like a dry hop to give it a bit more flavour. But that's about all. I mean, it's a really, really nice brew. Very happy with it. Glad you guys came along. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like my videos because it really helps the, the channel. Um, give me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like what you see and if you have any ideas on what could make this a better brew. If you could taste this, if we had smell of vision oh, you would say this is almost perfect. That is a beautiful brew. I can enter this in competitions. Not that I would. I'm not interested in doing that. A brew for me. A brew for you people out there who like it. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. See you guys. Yeah.